Do it, Poopy. Some days I just want to rip everyone's head off. <laughs> session. We're just having a baby make you so emotional about everything. You want to say good morning? Okay. Hi. Say good morning. Mm. Should we make some herbal coffee? Put you down here on the, on the counter. He's getting so big. He can lift his head up now. Ooh. So we just woke up a little while ago. We actually had a good well, he had a good night's sleep. I couldn't go back to bed for a little bit after he woke up at four. Most nights I can go right back to bed when he wakes up. Uh, uh, Last night I was just, I don't know, was up thinking, uh, tossing, turning, for whatever reason. I'm gonna let that cool. I was gonna go to the gym this morning, but I'm deciding against it. I'm actually sore and I've been kind of getting back into my fitness routine, which is exciting and just nice to start building strength again. Officially out of the fourth trimester phase is what they call it. If you have no idea what that means, it's just basically like, you know, the three trimesters from pregnancy and then the fourth trimester is like, it's just like another extension of pregnancy. You've just birthed the baby. There's just so much that goes on those first three months that it's just considered its own trimester. But really the first year is a lot. Guys, how is he four months? Are you four months today? I just might eat you up. I just might eat you up. I just might eat you up. I just love him so much. I got my coffee, my herbal coffee. Oakley's doing some tummy time. You can do it. You want to roll back? This is his little play area. Look at you go. You want to roll back? Can you reach for it? Whoa, good job. Got it, good job. So usually in the morning, I'll just let him stretch out in his room. This is like his zone and all of his toys are here. It's just easier, especially when you have other kids and animals in the house. I feel like just having a designated spot in their room that's clean and just has everything set up for them, ready to go is really helpful. And so we just kind of keep this mat out. It's all sensory. He's got lots of contrast things to look at. The wake windows for babies is quite short. Oakley's right now is about two hours. Some babies are even shorter than that, depending on how old they are. So really it's like this wash, rinse, repeat cycle. At this stage, we wake up, we have some milky, we play a little bit. I let him chill for a bit on his own too. Because sometimes I find that's when they learn to do things like turning and stuff, is if they're just kind of on their own discovering things. Uh, so it's kind of like independent play, but very, very short periods because then they're like, mom. Also a huge thank you to Osea for sponsoring today's video. Okay, he's been teething so much lately. So he's just been drooling. We always have to have a bib on him. Are our teeth going to come out soon? Oh, Cash is barking. I'm going to go let her in. Honestly, it feels like we have three kids. Sage is on the couch eating her breakfast, by the way, if you're wondering. She is going to go to daycare soon. And then we just have one, which I got a message the other day. I think it was on one of my YouTube shorts and it wasn't rude. It was just like out of curiosity. Why is Sage in daycare when, you know, I work from home? And I thought it was a very interesting question. There's many reasons why she's in daycare. Uh, number one, it's so good for just like her learning, social skills, all of that. Since she started daycare, I guess when she, just before she turned two, she started. Her ability to listen to us, follow direction, even just become more independent with like getting dressed, putting her shoes on, talking, socializing with other kids. It was such a crazy difference once she was in daycare. So good for her. Like hanging out with mom and dad all day and a baby is not stimulating for her. And also I feel like I'm a better parent. She's learning so much. And then when she gets home, I feel like we just don't feel so depleted and we can, you know, be fun parents again. Also, I work. <laughs> So I know it seems like, you know, we just chill in all the time, which, you know, some days we are. But like yesterday was a busy filming day in the kitchen and Sage was in daycare, but Oakley was home. So luckily Matt was home to help out with Oakley because we don't have a nanny or anything. People assume, and this has like been my whole, ever since I started working from home for my business, people think like you're home. Like you can just like make crock pot dinners and like clean the whole house and like do all these crafts like all day. You're, I'm working. So just like some people people go into an office for their job. I'm 
just at home but I'm still working and there's so much behind the scenes that you guys don't see like computer work and admin stuff and communications and stuff with brands even if I am just filming what I'm doing in a day like with a baby and stuff like that that takes a lot of work to set up the camera think about what I'm gonna say it's just more effort and if you're a parent and you have little ones <laughs> then you know like it's sometimes just a struggle to like take a shower let alone pick up a camera that's why you guys get to see me in my beautiful self right now whoa i did a whole tiktok on some fun teethers that i got for oakley yeah this is his rating do you like this one this one has two handles which is fun <laughs> this is a fun one the glamorous behind the scenes of filming we're gonna go put his clothes on, get him ready for the day. Look at all these cute clothes. Dinosaurs or this guy? This guy's cute. We're gonna do this little blue number with a bib because bibs are life right now. Not gonna lie, he's being a little fussy this morning so it just makes it harder to get things done. Like even I abandoned my herbal coffee. I'll try topping him up a little bit more. But sometimes it's just, you never know what's bothering them. So we are going to do the carrier. Hey, okay. Is it your teeth? Oh, oh, oh. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And are your onesies getting small? Do you have poopy? No. Oh my God. I just feel like I look like a mess. Why do I film myself like this? <gasps> hey, Matt's also messaging me. He's heading to the grocery store and picking me up a smoothie. And I feel like I'm just in a bad mood. So I wanted to talk about like what really happens when you're early postpartum. Look at these cool feet. <laughs> and one of them is like rage. <laughs> There's like, oh, my hair and your hair falling out like everywhere. I just, bless you, bless you. I feel like I didn't experience this as much with Sage, but this time around, like I just feel so angry sometimes for no reason and like, okay, yeah, I'm sleep deprived and like he's a good sleeper, but you're still waking up throughout the night and last night he woke up at like 4 a.m. And I just couldn't go back to bed for a bit. So I'm still tired and I'm hungry. So then it's like hangry meets tired meets like you feel like you're just don't have time for you and it's a whole like storm effect and sometimes the daddy or the partner is the one that gets the brunt of it and like Matt will just ask me a question and I'm like what? <laughs> like I just explode on him. I'm sorry Matt. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's the hormone. It's you. No, it's not you. It's not you. I just I joke. I joke. It's not you. No. <laughs> it's just hormones and like I don't know how to explain it but like some days I just want to rip everyone's head off and then other times I'm like I'm cool. I'm cool guys. This is great. I love postpartum. I've never experienced such intense hormones. Even while pregnant it wasn't this bad. <laughs> Mommy's crazy. <laughs> We're not gonna bother with socks today. Sometimes you just gotta wear them if they're fussy. Matt actually took him on a really nice forest walk with Cashew yesterday so mommy could do some work. It's all about teamwork. Come here, you're going in. Matt is also grabbing some groceries for dinner tonight. I have my very pregnant best friend coming for dinner tonight with her husband. Her official due date is in two days. So she's gonna pop any day now. And you're gonna have a friend. They're gonna be four months apart. How fun is that? Should we go make a slice of toast? Hopefully you just chill for a bit and then we'll put you down in your bassinet for a nap. I always find it funny because from the time he wakes up, I have like two hours to get him ready, fed, changed, all that, get myself ready, fed, changed, all that, and then he's down for his nap, and I feel like I'm still in my morning routine, and he's already, like, put me to bed now. Like, do, does that make sense? So, anyways, it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. You wouldn't know it because of all my complaining. I actually do love the postpartum phase. It can just feel like a lot sometimes, but a lot of times it's just, like, you in your own head trying to do too much. It's not actually the baby and the stuff that they need. It's like, you just need to come to terms that you can only do so much. And it's kind of a sign from the universe just to relax and let your body heal and rest. So sometimes babies are just a reminder to relax and not try to do so much. Yeah, it's pretty much cold. That's okay. <laughs> I 
I've been really liking this bread. It's the Ezekiel, it's a spreaded whole grain bread with uh, it's a cinnamon raisin flavor. When I get into something I like, I eat it on repeat. Just the kind of person I am. Honestly, I've been eating eggs a lot for breakfast and I kind of want a break from it. So we're going back to the smoothies. I just don't feel like making it. So we're picking one up today. This guy's been eyeing my food like crazy lately. Why are you so squirmy today? He just passed out. I'm gonna see if I can transfer him into his bassinet so that I can do a little meditation. I feel like I need it today. I'm just. Like I said, hormones, I have a lot to do today. People coming over tonight, I just feel like I need some time to breathe, so we're gonna do that. Even though I feel like I don't have time to do it, that means I need to do it. Somewhere in the gray room is all gone. Today, I don't know, this morning I've just felt really frazzled. It's always funny when I choose to film on these days and I don't know how the day is gonna go before I choose to film. Like I was planning yesterday to film today. I woke up this morning and I just, I'm one of those people that if things don't go to plan, I get really frazzled and it's something I'm working on. But as a mom, it's just like you cannot predict the day. It's gonna be what it is. I'm not wearing my rings, I feel naked, hang on. I think what it is too is that Sage was homesick the last week since we got back from Florida. She got sick and then she was basically in daycare for I think three days, home for a week and now we're just like getting back to our like routine and schedule since like our trip and then her being sick and I've just been trying to keep the kids separated so it's just been me with Oakley and Matt with Sage. We're gonna miss. Okay, I already washed my face. I used the Ocean Cleanser by Osea. I love this. This is like my third bottle of this stuff. I've been using their skincare products for probably like three plus years now. I love them. They're also sponsoring today's video. So thank you Osea for being a longtime sponsor of the channel. I'm gonna use their Hyaluronic C Serum. This is one of my favorite products, which I just learned. It was one of the first six products that they launched in 1996. How cool is that? And it's still one of their best sellers. It is clinically proven to reduce the appearance of all lines and give a more lifted, firmer look, which I love. And I feel like you can just feel it sinking into your skin and just plumping everything up. And I love layering this under my moisturizer. I feel like it just really helps hydrate my dry, tired skin. Honestly, like my cheeks feel more plump when I use this. I love that they use seaweed-based ingredients in their skincare and some really unique ones that I haven't seen in any other skincare products. They are mother and daughter founded in California and all their products are just inspired by the sea and use a lot of ingredients from the ocean. They're also climate neutral, vegan, cruelty-free. This is the Seabiotic Water Cream, which I've also been using for a long time. I love the color of it. It also has this really lightweight kind of gel-like texture to it. I love it. It also sits really nice under makeup when I have time to do that. <laughs> Do you ever feel more productive when you just get ready? <laughs> Another product I love from them is their Andaria Body Butter. My mom is obsessed with this and she took my last one, so I got a new one. It has the most amazing smell to it. I also just love all their packaging. Like this on your bathroom vanity, it looks so luxe and their products go a very long way. This is made with Andaria Seaweed, which helps replenish the skin's moisture barrier, Shea Butter, which leaves your skin so soft and smooth and moisturized, and Sarah which helps moisturize, renew, and support your skin's moisture barrier. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, it smells so good. It's like whipped delicious butter. I love it. After I come out of the shower, I moisturize this all over my body, especially on my tummy. I find after you have a baby, the muscles on your stomach can actually just feel sore and tender. So I like to do a nice little massage. You guys can use my code HEALTHNUT to get an additional 10% off for a limited time only. I'm gonna have my links down below, my favorite products from Osea. So let's talk about this weird time of postpartum life. The four month period just feels like a weird time. You still are dealing with sleepless nights, waking up with baby a lot, and also just your body's still healing, yet everyone just like assumes you're back to normal because you, you know, maybe you look like you've lost the baby weight or you just look like you're doing more back to routine, but you don't really have the support from everyone as much. Everyone just treats you normally again. And inside you still feel like you just had a baby. And it's just hard because like when you're pregnant, you know, everyone's like, oh, you need anything. And then you have a baby and you're like, everyone wants to see the baby. But at the same time, you're like, what about me? My hormones are all over the place. My period's coming back like irregularly. When it does, I'm in like full hormone rage. Um, I just, I can't help it, I, hormones. Makeup is done. I honestly do the same thing every single day. I just pulled my hair back because I am going to prep some food for dinner tonight. I want to make some cookies and prep the ribs so that they're marinated and I just have to stick them in the oven. But I'm going to go get Oakley so I can feed him and put him to bed. I'm giving Oakley some milk and just been feeling a little emotional today. And I think like it's finally just kind of uh, coming to the surface. I guess I've just been feeling overwhelmed and also so much for doing my makeup. I don't know if it's like a second kid thing, but a little bit more distant from the rest of the family because I'm always with Oakley, which I love and he's so sweet. <laughs> he's just looking at me. Hang on, let me put down my shirt. <laughs> like, how can I be sad? Hi. He's like the best thing ever. <laughs> Guys, this is what postpartum is. Like one minute you're happy, the next minute you're crying. He's holding my hand. Thanks, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not even like I'm sad every day by any means. Just like I feel like your emotions are so up and down after you have a baby. So like when you're happy, you're really happy. And then when you're sad, like you get into this like kind of like sad bubble that is sometimes hard to shake. Your body just went through a lot emotionally and physically. And I think it just like starts to catch up to you. And you want like to acknowledge what you've done um what you've gone through so do we need to make some cookies <laughs> i just sometimes i find it hard to just like film a video and then not put in moments where i'm like upset about something or it just feels not authentic when i do that so no and i just want my videos to feel really connect with people and feel real and know that like if you also just feel sad for no reason after you have a baby that it's totally normal and it's important to acknowledge it and like talk about it and share it. But yeah, like most days I feel really happy. Today was just like a little bit of a harder day. I'm still not done my smoothie. It's like, I don't even know, 1230 or something. And I like haven't had a proper breakfast. I feel like that TikTok where it's like, have you talked to anyone today? No. Have you eaten anything? No. Are you sleeping good? No. And it's like, oh, I wonder why I don't feel good. <laughs> the days that I, I move my body, I go outside, I eat a proper breakfast, I shower, like those are, are the days I feel better. When I'm inside, I just start to feel like cabin fever and then it becomes harder to leave the house. Like you're just like, eh, I don't like it's too much effort. And it's this downward spiral and, and then you just feel like crap, really. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good day. <laughs> I'm just having a baby make me so emotional about everything. This is what it's really like after you have a baby. I was gonna like talk about like stuff like healing when your milk comes in and this video like has totally changed into something else. Let me know if you still want that video, but this is not it and I don't want to force it, you know? It's like we have a little baby that we gotta take care of. We gotta take care of each other. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put him down for a nap. Have a little releasing cry. You're just what mommy needs. Yeah. Okie okay, okay is up from his nap. I'm just prepping the ribs right now. I'm just doing like really easy marinade. And that way they just can sit in the fridge for a bit. And then I'm gonna bake these at 350 covered for two hours. So they're gonna be nice and juicy. You know what, I had lunch with Matt. I also was just talking about my feelings also to my sister. 
just about how all of a sudden feeling really overwhelmed which isn't the case most of the time like I feel like I've been actually just taking things slow like not trying to put too much on my plate but it takes one day to feel out of whack and then everything just like I don't know feels like it's too much. Once again, it's like we're out of the newborn stage, but we still got a baby and you know, babies are a lot of work and it's this struggle of not wanting to spend any time away from Oakley, like not really wanting help, but also needing help. You know, I love my job. I love what I do. I'm so grateful for it. And it's not that like, I don't want to make videos because videos are taking me away from Oakley like I love that my life as a mom has become part of my content and I can just and that we've created this amazing mom community I love sharing like my mom tips recipes to get your kids to eat their food and and my tips and tricks and stuff I love that I remember with Sage it was a really hard decision for me to accept help it's like I wanted to be able to work full-time do my career my passion what I love and also be a mom full-time which is another thing I love breastfeed cook for our family like be and do everything all the time and the struggle of not being able to do everything efficiently was really hard for me to accept I know that once Sage was in daycare just after she turned no it was just before she turned two I just felt like I had way more balance in my life. Even with work, I started to create more separation with my work and my family life and home life. I stopped checking emails on the weekends and working late. And that's when I really felt my best. And now we got a new baby in the mix and it's like learning how to do it all over again. Obviously every household is different. You know, some houses have one parent working full time while the other one's job is to be home and take care of the kids, which I commend you because being home with Sage 24 seven, entertaining a toddler by yourself is so much work. So I don't know what the solution is. <laughs> it's just, I think acknowledging why I feel the way I do. And this is just a weird time. It's just, you know, he's not at a stage where I can easily just have someone babysit him you know he's exclusively breastfed uh, which I love like I don't even want to give that up we are planning on introducing a bottle soon just so I can like even go to the movies if I wanted to just the thought of him not needing me in order to get his milk like upsets me <laughs> so it's like I want to exclusively breastfeed I want to be able to do my job which I love it's like truly my passion my hobby I love connecting with you guys and sharing my life and documenting it. I know, okay, I'm gonna get Oakland. Oh, that's a, that's a lot. Okay, we're gonna massage this in. I think I need a little bit more. more did I, put, I did put paprika. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm putting on this, paprika, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, olive oil. Today is just a therapy session. I'm gonna pop these into the fridge to marinate, give Oakley some milk, and then we're gonna make some cookies. Those are Sage's snacks. So Matt actually made these cookies last night because I was feeling also a little tired, overwhelmed, and I thought I would just put out there, if only Daddy and Sage would make mommy cookies, and like ask and you shall receive because Daddy made cookies and they were so good, Matt. So I'm making them again. I'll put the recipe down below. They're gluten-free, healthier chocolate chip cookies made with almond flour. So it's like. It's like you're getting some healthy fats and protein in your cookies, because you are, right? Healthy. And I ate like five of them. They're so good. The other thing I've been thinking is just kind of readjusting my routine. One option I've been thinking of is just having mom days where, you know, instead of just having the weekends for family time, maybe I'm kind of squishing my work into three days instead of five. So maybe Mondays and Fridays, I'm not trying to pull myself in multiple directions. I'm just you know, in mom mode and things around the house, like maybe meal prepping or organizing a closet that's been on my mind. Like just those things where I find very therapeutic. I really don't like multitasking. I find it just makes me anxious. It makes me feel overwhelmed. And I just like to focus on one thing at a time. I think I'm just learning what I can take on right now without feeling like it's too much. And I'm just a yes person, which is not always a good quality. I need to remind myself that saying yes to something is saying no to something else. 
And that might mean, you know, time with my kids or, or making healthy meals for my family, which I love to do. Okay, almond flour. I get a lot of questions. Oh, I didn't even put the egg in. We'll just mix it all together. It doesn't matter, it's fine, it's fine. I get so many messages from people being like, wow, you look like you do it all. Like you just have your whole life together. And you guys see my highlight reel. And it's not that I'm trying to be like fake or, or hide something. It's just like, first off, I'm not gonna share every aspect of my life, nor can I. And then the other thing is like, you know, I wanna share the happy times. And usually when I feel like filming, it's our times when I'm like, yeah, like I got life under control. Like I got my mental health in check. I'm working out, I'm eating good. I got my work life family balance perfected. But the truth is like every day is so different. Every week is different. And yeah, some weeks I feel really good. I think it's just about finding a new routine right now that works for me. And that doesn't make me feel like I'm taking on too much. You know, even going down to Florida really helped me get re-inspired for what I want to do this year. Like the problem is, is I have so many ideas that I want to do. Like I feel so inspired right now with some projects that I want to work on and stuff. And it's just like, I don't have enough time to do it all. So I have to prioritize some things. And also I want to spend as much time with my kids as possible. Cause like when I see things about them only being little for so long, like honestly, it stresses me out. Like they're only going to be a newborn for eight weeks. They're only going to be with you for like 18 summers. Like stop it. <laughs> like we're already trying to do too much. Now you're making us feel like we're missing out on the best parts. Like stop it right now. This is not gonna be mixed up properly. I can't see Oakley. Your head is in the way. I love that I can just chat with you guys. And you know, it's like a therapy session. I already feel better. The tears are dried up. I feel like I have a solution coming. Should we do the best part? Oakley is adding the chocolate chips. Matt made these last night and put, I swear, almost like a cup of chocolate chips in them. They were so good. We're not doing that. I'm doing like half a cup, but I'm mixing. These are like my favorite. Lily's milk chocolate. Oh, sweetened with stevia, but you can't tell. Let's do what daddy did and do extra chocolate chips. We're gonna put this in the fridge too to set, and then I'm gonna bake them fresh for dessert tonight. I may have added too many chocolate chips. Is there such thing? I don't think so. And don't even get me started about Sage starting school this year. Like I haven't even thought about it. I don't know what we're doing yet. I feel overwhelmed with that. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce. Cookies are going in the fridge. We're gonna pick up Sage from daycare shortly, tidy up the house before our friends come over for dinner, and we are done. So thank you for letting me rant and just have a little therapy session with you guys. Um, also a huge thank you to Osea for sponsoring today's video. You guys can use my code on the screen to save an additional 10% off for a limited time only. I'm gonna have all my favorites linked down below. Even on days where I feel stressed, they make my skin not look stressed. Huh, Oakley. <laughs> Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe and I will see you guys here next week. There is a life I lead.